Hey guys, welcome back to Simpit Academy channel. Today we look at introduction of some uh, areas like INS, Tekken, ILS, and UFC, and the radio. So my UFC LCD it's um, dead. I'm waiting for new screen and uh, card. So I'm not going to do any demo using MR um, in this video. Maybe in the next one. So it's still good to understand um, some of these navigation related um, concepts. All right, starting with the INS, um, there are more in-depth stuff about it. I just want to highlight the main one that we'll be concerned with, which is um, the two types of uh, INS alignment. If you are doing um, a cold uh, startup, okay, you will be getting this alignment required GC or SH. All right, so the gyro compass alignment, it's the, the normal one, which takes four minutes. If you want to speed up using the stored heading alignment, which is only um, 40 seconds, you will have to set this here. Okay, take note that this has a disadvantage in the sense that over time, um, you will accumulate drift error, right? So the INS becomes uh, less accurate. So it's best to go through this four minute long um, uh, GC alignment. So anyway, in your mission editor, uh, you come to the last uh, tab with the three dots here, you will see either this one, which will be GC, you check it, or if you want SH, okay, you'll be here. All right. And also during your startup, this INS knob, GC, you turn to here to do the GC alignment. Then the SH alignment, you switch to store to do the SH alignment. Okay. Um, that's the main thing about INS for now. Next, we look at Tekken and ILS. Um, I think many of us like to either shoot down planes, bomb something on the ground. Um, navigation can be, to some people, boring if they just if they are just trigger happy and want to you know shoot something. But um, just like startup, some people love it, some people hate it. Navigation is um somewhere along the line where it is good to know and sometimes you don't just keep shooting stuff but you want to learn like a real pilot be able to use radios to navigate you know besides knowing weapons knowing how to use tech and, and ILS um are also a good skill um as a virtual pilot so um two way there are four ways actually to find out your Tekken and ILS information this the first one using a UFC is not just finding out but also to operate them so the UFC is very important and useful um, unlike the A10C where you use the CDU a lot of things in the strike eagle you use the ufc so this is um main menu and two two menus and two data pages so the most important ones obviously are in the first page right so the first page you have all these are very commonly used okay the low altitude warning turn it on and off your tekken your iff this is also related to IFF, um, terrain following, and then 
going up this way. Okay, the UFC is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here are the radios. Okay, then this one, the nav flare, um, navigation. Then this one autopilot, and this is your steer point or mark point, the kind of stuff. So to use Tekken to turn it on, you type in a scratch pad, and then you press this, and you get this. So <clears throat> by default, it's X. If you want sixteen Y, you just press it again. You change to sixteen Y. Okay, so. This is just setting the channel. It's still currently off. You have to press this. All right, basically three steps. Scratch pad, type in 16, press, press this, you get this, and you press here, you turn it on. Once you turn it on, you'll see this. Uh, if you are within range, you will see the Tekken um, symbol, right? There are two ways to navigate. Normally, you navigate through this arrow and this heading command bug right steer point to your next steer point like this one here is a steer point right so you, it's to your right so you head this direction to reach this steer point this one is you head this direction this is your Tekken um, command direction and then here is the symbol so the, um, you just follow it you'll you get to the Tekken which is normally like beside a runway but you don't fly directly um, to the runway okay you normally approach the runway um, at a, an intercept Okay, you set a course here, you press up and down or use the scratch pad. You set a course to intercept the the runway um, path, right? With or without ILS, um, bad weather, you want to intercept the runway like 12 miles out and then turn on ILS or switch to ILS from Tekken and then fly by glide scoop. Or without ILS in good weather, you still want to intercept and see the runway and align it to to land. Okay, you don't normally just fly straight there. So uh, I'll try to do a demo of this later next time. So second page menu to um you can see the ILS. Okay, you can press the number like 109 without the decimals 10910 then press this press here and then ILS will come on okay so that's many two so one Tekken okay how to operate them two is ILS so second way to find um Tekken and ILS information. This uh, F10 map will show you Tekken and ILS, right? Um, next, aerodome charts. There are two kinds of charts. The first one is aerodome. Um, if you use the Nibot Builder. Um, or even you just go to save games i think somewhere um, there's a folder with all the charts so you can see um, tekken and ios and notice that you see here at 129 degrees is rounded to 130 and then you remove the one digit and then it becomes 13 so you're approaching you know your runway 13 because it's at 130 degrees. Same thing here, 309, you round it off to 310, and then take off the zero, this is runway 31, okay? That's how the runway numbers are numbered. 
okay so like here 130 um so you approach like this right bearing 130 you get 13 okay 310 bearing and you get 31 and also note that it is not to true north maps are to true north um the adding is to magnetic north so there might be um a slight difference okay so two thing two main thing is one the the runway is numbered the bearing is as you approach how you see the runway not as you take off that's one second thing is is um is catered to a magnetic north so in some places probably very far north or very far south it becomes more sensitive to um the magnetic north shifting so those places they may sometimes paint the numbers um, to like 12 or 14 you know if it keeps changing the magnetic north you want to update the um, the runway numbers um, every so often okay so the next chart we have the aerodome charts we also have the visual ops chart here you also see Tekken and ILS information right initial 31 initial I 13 all these are ILS information so then we have um, the fourth one the easiest is um, use a map which will show you in all kinds of information we don't really use um, RSBN NDB VOR Tekken is the equivalent of VOR right uh, ndb i think it also gives you distance um, tekken is the military version of vor so and you note that the russian air bases don't really use tekken it's the the georgian ones that have tekken uh, even then it's some of them right and also ils so i um, made a table so you can either do this or do this right or both but this is a quick look up all the georgian air bases you can quickly see the tower frequencies you can see the tekken number right uh, i think it's usually x and then the runway numbers the is number all these are very information very useful and you can print this and uh, put it as a physical kneeboard or a virtual kneeboard for quick reference so you don't have to flip through um, all these aerodome charts and visual ops charts there are many many of them so um, if you don't want to flip through all of them in a kneeboard then this is a one page reference to see everything okay so this is a simplified map without the details but at least you have a sense of the location of all the air bases obviously we are looking only at the Caucasus uh, map here so ILS um, two types ILSN navigation source which you will if you use this um, you will be going to a steer point right before the runway and then you you know then you do glide slope um, down landing ILS so the other kind of ILS is the Tekken source where you fly to a Tekken and then like I described earlier you intercept and switch to ILS all right so you normally use the course setting here and here you see the deviation you you keep flying flying and you keep flying right you this deviation line will keep coming here and finally align then you are lined up with 
um, the ILS approach. Next, we look at UFC. Um, the menu here, we have all this useful information, right? Sequence points, net flare. Um, guard frequency is useful to passively receive information without transmitting. This IP is IFF, okay? Identification of position. This is a passive radar operation. Um, you turn it on and then you don't emit as much um, of a radar signature. So um, menu one, you see all this useful information. Menu two, you get ILS and bullseye as the two most important uh, functions here. Then data one, you get details like bearing distance to a steel point, right? And win and some other stuff time. So this R stands for CARA, okay? Combine uh, barometric and radar altitudes. Okay, and then you have data two, even also some details. So about radio, we have four radios in the F-15E, but Radio 1 um, and Radio 2 are used, 3 and 4 are not simulated yet. So basically the inner knob right for the volume and then these are the channel selector you just rotate. So the Radio 1 is a UHF radio, right? This is the range. Radio 2 is VHF and UHF, and then you have four ranges of frequencies. FM and then AM, VHF. So here, this one, the Radio 2 on this side, right? Radio 2 channel 1, it shows the details, okay? Now there are two types you have you have an asterisk before one this is a preset channel right you can keep pressing these um greg c slash m between manual and preset so it will jump up and down the asterisk showing which one is active this one okay these numbers are preset these numbers are manual so this one asterisk means that radio 2 is in manual mode okay this is in preset mode so you can just toggle and you can um, set your preset channels in your mission editor okay So next time we will look at sensors. This is all we have to cover for this video. Thank you for watching.